What's up everybody? Today I want to show you how fast and easy it is to bring 3D character scans to life with Accurig by Reillusion. A lot of you have asked me how I'm 3D animating my action figures. This is one of the tools I go to almost every time I create an animation. Hi, it's Make It Move Media and I've been collecting 3D scanning and animating action figures for about two years now. But my 3D animation experience is well over a decade. Since 2011, I've been 3D scanning and animating various things professionally and as a hobby. I've always been fascinated with 3D scanning and animation. If you want to see more of my work, you can follow me on Instagram or YouTube at Make It Move Media. All right, let's get started and jump right into Accurig. Okay, so we're inside of Accurig, and today we are going to easily rig and animate Spider-Man. And I'll show you how I do that. So I'm going to grab my 3D scan and open that bad boy up. Now, once the model loads, you're going to notice a few things. Um, you're going to notice the center line here and you're gonna know some instructions to the right. Place a center line in the middle of, middle of the hips. And so uh, my Spider-Man's pretty close. Um, even if your model's off a little bit, this is still gonna work. That's what I love about this program. You don't have to be super accurate to make this happen. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. I'm happy with this. I'm just gonna click Rig Body. There's five simple steps. You load your character, you align it. It's checking the body right now, so it's checking the mesh. And now we're gonna get ready to rig it. So what it's doing, it's just evaluating um, this human rig and where it needs to place the markers. So this is pretty accurate. Um, I'm gonna move a couple things around to my liking here, um, but for the most part, this guy's good. So you can move all the points around. So if, if your knee was off for some reason, you can kind of just nudge it where you want it to go and you can turn it and check it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and look from the side. I like to look at this view here just to make sure that everything's where it needs to be. The cool thing is, is it's giving me references. So if I didn't know, if I was new to, to rigging and new to animation, it kind of walks me through it. So place at the, at the neck tip there. So I did that. I'm gonna move my neck up a little bit um, and just make sure everything looks good to me. Your navigation's over here on the left, so you can look at it straight on. You can look from the side, you can look from the top view to make sure everything's lining up properly and kind of adjust those things accordingly, which is pretty handy. All right, so Spider-Man's looking pretty good. It's kind of hard for Spider-Man not to look good, but um, pretty awesome design. Um, now I'm gonna move to rigging the hands. So I've got five fingers. If you didn't have five fingers, you could pick zero if you didn't want any fingers animated, um, or you could pick two, or you could pick three, and so on. I'm gonna pick five and see what it gives me. It typically does a really good job lining everything up. Okay, so that was pretty clean. I'm gonna move a couple things around here um, just because I'm a little picky and I'm gonna move my hand joints right where I need them. You see how it gives me this outline here? I try to match that up as best as I can to the model um, and it does a good job of uh, giving me a starting point, which I love. All right, now I'm gonna rig my left hand. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just kind of move some things around a little bit. So when I 3D scan, I do some weird things to the mesh um, they're not always the cleanest meshes, but I don't need them to be, especially with this tool. There you go, and I'm going to finalize my character. <clears throat> so it's skinning it up. It's, gonna, it's, it's adding bones. It's putting a whole rig inside of my 3D scan. This would take hours sometimes without this. So here's Spider-Man, and this is him in all his glory and he's ready to be animated now. I mean, that was so easy. And I can check my rig so I can go through a couple poses and make sure that everything's looking exactly how I want it to look. You know, I can check the hands, are the hands moving how I want them to move? Check my walk cycle. You know, he's looking pretty buff. And I'm, I'm fairly happy with this. I see one weird thing going on here, so I'm gonna correct that. And that's his shoulder. And this is so easy to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this in just a little bit here. And then I'm gonna skip the hand rigging because I've already done it. It's so amazing how in a matter of minutes you can have a fully rigged, ready to animate figure. Whether, whether you're 3D scanning action figures or you just have a, a model that you wanna use, this is the go-to for this. A lot of people, um, you know, they don't understand that animating doesn't have to be hard. Um, and this tool makes it so easy to do. All right, so I'm happy with this. I think Spider-Man's looking buff, looking ready to, to web sling. So 
What we're gonna do next is we're gonna upload this guy into ActorCore, and I'll, sh I'll walk through that process right now. So simple. All you gotta do is click this button down here. I do recommend when you're done getting your figure where you want it, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and save the Accurig data. And you wanna do this because if for some reason you you want to make changes or something, it's a good starting point. You don't, you don't have to do everything that I just did. I don't have to do that again. So it's nice, I can just kind of open this up. All right, so we're gonna upload to ActorCore. All right, so now it's, it's telling me, hey, this is ready to view on ActorCore. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open that up. All right, and here it is. This guy is now ready to be animated. So um, now, now that we're inside of ActorCore, this is where you can grab all your motion captures, you can grab everything that you want to animate your Spider-Man with. So for example, um, if I wanted to um, go ahead and, and make Spider-Man do a flip, for example, what I could do is go ahead and have him do a roll flip. I can have him do a back flip. Um, there's a number of things. Ooh, I like that. Uh, that's the one we're going to use, folks. So I'm happy with this animation, and you can preview everything here right inside of your web browser at actorcore.realillusion.com, which is pretty slick because there's no guessing now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download this motion. And it's going to ask me, hey, what actor do I want to use? I'm going to go ahead and pick my Spider-Man, hit next. And I use uh, Blender for all of my 3D animations. So let's go ahead and choose Blender. And there's a couple different options here. Um, I want to embed my texture. I do 60 frames a second because it looks mm, sweet that way. Um, you can mirror, mirror your animation if you want to, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and download. And go ahead and let that save. All right, now let's open this up. So if you guys have never used Blender before, if you're just getting started with 3D animation, Blender is an open source 3D uh, suite. It's a 3D software suite. You can animate, you can render, you can pull in these actor core uh, animations like we're about to do right now. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go to file. I'm gonna import my FBX because that's what it exports as. Uh, I'm gonna locate my Spider-Man actor core, his backflip here. Um, so I'm gonna import my actor first. And there it is. So this is the rig. Um, you know, if you wanted to see your full rig, um, the way that you can kind of see that is you can put all of those in front. So this is what actor core did for me. It went ahead and put the rig inside of the model and we'll go ahead and turn on some graphics here. There you go. And there's uh, there's my Spider-Man. So let's go ahead and we'll pull in the animation. The quickest way to do this is, so what you wanna do is you wanna pull in um, the animation from the FBX of the backflip, but you also wanna create an action within Blender. So by default, there's some um, animation keys here. We're gonna go ahead and bring this down, delete that, and we're gonna go to File, Import FBX, and now we're gonna to go to that motion and we're gonna pull in this parkour backflip, right? Okay, so here's all the animation keys for it. So here's, here's the rig from AccuRig of the backflip. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and click this little button here and create an action. Um, and then I'm gonna delete that rig. And because Spider-Man is already set up, all we have to do is go to add action strip, click this parkour backflip, Remove this timeline down. And now you can see my Spider-Man is animated and ready to roll. That's pretty phenomenal. I, I mean, a few years ago, I'm talking probably five years ago, this would have been impossible. Three years ago, this would have been hard. Now, this thing is ready to rock and um, it's, it's a really good tool. So I highly recommend it. I'm gonna piece together a more polished video, put this at the end so you guys can enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in and if you guys haven't, or if you're interested in getting started, look up Real Illusion, Actor Core, AccuRig. The whole package is just amazing and I can't say enough about it. So thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. There you have it. If you like what you saw, this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. Make it move media. Thanks.